okay now I'm going to show you how to make the muscle uh, of the teddy bear so I'm going to make it in white color um, I've used this um, hobby crafts uh, the women's institute yarn and uh, so to make it to start with we have to use a magic ring just like we did for the head and the body just repeat the same thing uh, make six single crochets in the magic ring one two three four five and six pull it tight for row two make increases that is two single crochets in each stitch around one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and twelve so row two is completed for row 3, uh, make 1 single crochet in the first stitch, 2 single crochet in the second and repeat 1, 2, 1, 2 and it goes up to 18 single crochets in row 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, and the last stitch, 17 and 18 increase. Okay, we are done with row 3. For row 4, just make one single crochet in each stitch around. That is, you will have 18 single crochets in this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. So this is all you have to do and at last make a slip stitch. This is the end of uh, the muzzle. You'll have to make a slip stitch here. And leave a long tail for sewing. Okay, so the muscle is done. So we won't be needing the white yarn anymore. Next, um, we will make uh, the legs and the arms. 
I've made one of each. I'll show you how to make and and the ear as well. So first we'll go with the legs. So again I'll bring back that burnt orange yarn and make a magic ring. six single crochets one two three four five and six now pull the yarn in tight and close it and for the row two you will have to make two uh, two single crochets in each stitch just as we did for the muscle right now it comes up to 12 uh, single crochets in this row six For row 3, you will have to make single crochet for row 3 and row 4. Just make one single crochet in each stitch for 3 and 4. Okay, I have done the 4th row, completed it. For the 5th row, you have to make decreases. Add your stitch marker here so you don't get confused. So we will have to make four decreases first. There is one decrease and the second one second decrease and then third and fourth so four decreases and then make next in the next four stitches make one single crochet each one, two, three, and four. So you have completed this row five from row six to eight, that is three rows six, seven, and eight. Just make one single crochet each in in each stitch that is eight eight single crochets in each row okay i have completed row eight now let me take my stitch marker out 
and then we will stuff the toy stuffing in just make sure it's it's a bit firm at the bottom here and then not so firm the other it other side So you can see these this part is firm here you can have it a little bit less um, of the stuffing there uh, I'll add a little bit more yeah because I can see spaces here I'll have to close this later so I'll fill this up we don't need to do it so firmly here now you'll have to make four decreases so it comes up to just four uh, single crochet so four stitches in this row one decrease Two, three, and four. Okay, and leave a long tail and cut this yarn. So, what you do with your darning needle just sew it closed because it's not completely closed here you can see the stitches here so what you do is just take the front loops of all the four stitches no go into the front loop of the first and then come out of the front loop of the second stitch then go in the third stitch and come out of the fourth stitch okay once you're done then put this needle into the center of this um, gap here and then come out on either of any of the sides so for this this is where you made the decreases I have brought it to this side so when you're sewing it you can have this leg on here and then sew it for this one I made the decreases here bring it to the other side you can do this later also it's not a problem just just to um, make sure it's on the right side when I'm sewing it okay So I'm done with the legs now. Now we'll do the arms. So this is one arm. It's it's very similar to uh, the legs. Uh, the only difference is the number of stitches that you make here. It's a little smaller than the leg. So what you do is make magic ring and then 
make six single crochets. It's very gloomy today, raining. So I'm trying to get the correct lighting on this, but somehow it's not working. Okay, made uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six stitches, six single crochets, and then pull it tight. For this, instead of making 12 like you did for the legs, you have to do um, nine, uh, nine stitches in this. So make one one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the second stitch one single crochet in the third two single crochet in the fourth one single crochet in the fifth and the last one make two single crochets so you have nine single crochets in this row then just like in uh, the legs for th row three and four just make one single crochet each so you'll have nine single crochets in each row make three and four you'll have nine nine single crochets each okay i've ma made nine uh, <coughs> sorry three row three and four with nine single crochets each now for row five I have to make uh, decreases, three decreases first. One. and three then make three more single crochets in the next I mean one single crochet in the next three stitches two and three so totally you will have six uh, single crochet six stitches in this row then for the next three rows go ahead and make just one single crochet each in all the all the three rows that is for each row you'll have six single crochets uh, for row six seven and eight so i've made uh, i've completed row eight so i'll start filling use your uh, tip of this uh, scissors to push it in <laughs> make the the edges here make them stiff firm In a couple of days we'll be having bank holidays and with the kids at home I don't think I'll be able to do any, much of my crochet work so I'm trying to finish all these projects before they are home
so I've completed filling this okay and make three decreases to finish this arm three decreases okay one I don't know I, I feel the lighting is isn't that bright oh god two and leave a long tail for sewing and trim the edges use the darning needle to close it and So you have just three stitches go in and out of the other stitch and again in so after this what you do is put this inside so here it's on this side so it will come to the right side okay so let me bring this to This is a decrease that I've made here. Then bring it to the other side. Okay. So now we'll start joining them. So try to hold these two together here just to make sure they are in the they're aligned properly okay and then use this and make sure it comes out on the same line on the side yeah because we are doing it in continuous rounds this may go down a bit so just make sure it's aligned straight okay even though it's not in the same line you can just do it like this and then add this arm insert it again and come out of the next stitch to where you put the um, yarn in and then do the same thing push it inside from the same uh, place and come out of the same place here and pull it tight so it's not too loose wobbly bring it into the seam uh, stitch okay, if you have a very long yarn you can do it twice or thrice 
and then what I do is bring them uh, at the back of this uh, teddy for the tail just make sure uh, you have pulled it tight so the arms are not very wobbly we are going to reinforce it with the other, uh, other uh, tail end that you have so not to worry then this is the other other uh, um, tail end okay oh my god what's wrong with this